Dave Palumbo here with an RX Muscle News Update. Probably many of you have heard already that probably bodybuilding's greatest uh, journalist, Peter McGuff, has passed at the age of 71 years. Uh, he had been battling cancer for the last seven or eight years, and he'd been fighting a heroic fight and probably lasted way longer than most people thought because of the, the uh, incredible passion he had for life for bodybuilding, for his family, and it's really the loss of a of a true icon in the sense of uh, reporters. You know, the sport is only as exciting as the people who report it. And back in the, you know, 70s, 80s, 90s, up until just recently, the only way we really got our news in bodybuilding was to read the magazines. I mean, I grew up in the magazine generation. We couldn't wait till that magazine came every single month. And we would read, not only would we read it once, we would read it 10 times, these articles, because that's what all there was. There was no internet. We had a limited amount of information we can read every month, and we wanted to know every single detail of every single uh, contest and training article and supplement and nutrition article. And Peter would report on the latest and greatest and who the great talent coming over from Europe was, who the great talent in the United States was you know, what contests uh, took place and, uh, you know, who won and who looked good and, you know, what we should, you know, he analyzed the contest. And I remember I grew up, you know, reading all his stuff and he, you know, eventually became the editor-in-chief of Muscle, excuse me, of Flex Magazine. And this was someone who, you know, basically was in your ear without speaking, you know, and I, I you know, I, I could hear his voice, you know, as I'm reading his words and he made it seem like you were actually there. And that takes a special talent. Uh, anyone could be a writer, but not everyone could be a great writer. And Peter was a great writer because he actually brought you to the action like you were sitting in the front row watching that show and he made it exciting. And the reason he was able to do that was not only because he was a great writer, but because he loved the sport of bodybuilding. He was passionate about it. He was one of the first people who discovered Dorian Yates. I, I believe he called up uh, Joe Weider and said, "Hey, this guy's going to be this guy's going to be the next Mr. Olympia." After seeing him, I believe compete as a junior. So uh, he was probably Yates's greatest, you know, historian in the sense that he wrote more about Dorian probably than anyone else in, in the history of uh, of our industry. And he did that with a lot of people because this was his thing. He he was able to look at a, a competitor on stage because of his great passion for the sport analyze him, you know, really see and notice talent and future potential. And he was able to describe it in a way that got you excited about the sport. And that's, once again, what makes a great, great writer. And so I will go on record as saying that I, I think Peter was probably one of the greatest, if not the greatest, uh, bodybuilding journalist that we've had, you know, uh, in the modern era. And he'll be greatly missed by his fa fans, friends, family, and all the people who wrote and read all the stuff that he, you know, wrote. So I want to just send out a huge, huge um, healing, I guess, prayer to his family and his wife uh, during this difficult time. Obviously, COVID is bad enough, you know, and then to lose a loved one is never easy. And it's New Year, so I know that Peter would want the world to be celebrating his life, not mourning his loss necessarily. So as we enter into 2021 and hopefully a much brighter, you know, better year for everyone out there with uh, much more smiles and much less frowns. Um, I want to just take a moment to remember Peter McGuff and uh, all the accomplishments uh, that he contributed to our great sport of bodybuilding, the iron sport that he loved. I'm Dave Palumbo with an RX Muscle News Update.